Welcome to Shifting Grades Online School. Very quickly, we look at this indices question. Solve for x in the equation, 2 power x minus 1 multiplied by 1 over 8 raised to power 1 minus x equals to 4 raised to power 3 x minus 1. We're supposed to know that uh, there are what you call laws of indices. These ones can be applied conveniently when you already know them. For instance, when I look at the terms in this particular equation, I can see 1 over 8. That's a reciprocal. And it means we can apply what you call the negative laws of indices. The negative law of indices states that whenever we have a base raised to a negative power, we can take its reciprocal. Then the power is now assumed to be positive. So this particular law can be applied in any direction. We can change a statement towards the right hand side or towards the left hand side, meaning that now we can write this expression as 2 raised to x minus 1 multiplied by, instead of 1 over 8, we make it 8. Then now we raise it to now the power multiplies by negative one. The power is now multiplied by negative one like that. Then this is equal to four, three X minus one. Something else that you supposed to understand is that uh, whenever we have composite numbers, we can express them in terms of the least possible base according to this equation. For example, we can express everything to base 2 here. 8 can be expressed as 2 power 3, and 4 can be expressed as 2 power 2. Now, with that understanding, you can proceed and say that uh, this is 2, x minus 1, multiplied by, instead of 8, 2 power 3, and we are already having negative 1 plus x equals 2, 2 power 2, and we are already having 3x minus 1. With this, let's talk about now the product law of indices, whereby you just have to multiply the powers. Whenever we have another law now, whenever we have a power m, then now everything is multiplied by n in the power, then you just take a power, the product of m and n that way, meaning that we can write this as 2 power x minus 1 multiplied by 2 raised to the power of negative 3 plus 3x uh -huh, equals to 2, 6x minus 2, that way. Look at the left-hand side, whereby the base is the same, and they have been multiplied. The bases have been multiplied and it's just the same base. We know that uh, the multiplication law of indices says that when you have a power raised to a given, okay, a base raised to a given power, the same base to a given power, different one, we take A and the two indices are added, meaning that we can apply this on the left-hand side, whereby we just pick two, then the powers of the first two are added to the powers of the other two. We just add the powers like that. This is equal to 2 power 6x minus 2. At this point now, because uh, the base is the same, both on the right and on the left hand side, we can directly equate the powers now. Now that we have base 2 on both sides, we equate the powers. And before equating, on the left hand side, I'll even group terms. I'm already having x and 3x, so that becomes 4x. I'm having negative 1 and negative 3, that becomes negative 4, equals to 6x minus 2. In the grouping of terms at this point, I'll be having 6x minus 4. You know, I'm grouping terms now. 6x, I subtract 4, that gives us 2x. Then negative 4, plus 2, because this is a negative 2. It becomes positive on this side. So minus 4 plus 2 becomes negative 2. And the value of x is confirmed to be negative 1 once you divide through by 
two on both sides. Thank you so much for following. I highly invite you to our holiday programs. We're calling it actually the one term ahead program, whereby from the 10th of November to the 12th of December 2025, we'll be interacting via Google Meet with your children. Please invite them. We'll be covering the 2026 term one work. We are targeting the junior school and also the senior school. Remember, our number is already attached on the screen. So please reach out for consultations. Reach out for clarification of our programs so that you may keep growing together in mathematics, sciences, and the compulsory subjects. Thank you.